look dad pretty what's that what is that you want to hear a story long ago people weren't like what they are today we had machines that moved around like creatures <laughs> in magical ways uh, unfortunately after a while some people found that they could use the machines against other people and to hurt other people and to gain power but I guess you're too young to know that part of our family. The machines and their magical powers got too powerful. Pretty soon, entire cities could be destroyed by one hand. Just like that. People tried to stop the machines but nobody, nobody really uh, knew how much damage they could do. But I don't know what happened, but um, one day all the machines just stopped. I was one of those people until I was 16 years old the only place safe enough for us to live was in the bush. Before then, anyone who tried to make their way back into the city would fall ill and die. Back then, it was a struggle for survival. We made clans of family and close friends. People fought for their food and land because people like me and my clan were always trying to steal from them. Food was scarce. We were so hungry, anything was good enough to eat. And that's basically how I lived until the day it happened to us. I couldn't believe it. My dad, chief of our clan. Dad! Dad. Son, come over here so I can see you. Dad, tell me who did this to you. I'll make them pay for this crime. I'll slaughter the animals and their families. No. Dad, you're the chief of this tribe. You raised me to survive. We can't let the other tribe go unpunished. Son, I am dying. But in a few minutes, you'll become the chief of our tribe. But I want you to lead a different world than mine. After witnessing firsthand what we have imposed on our neighbours, I realise things have to change. We cannot survive like this. Dad, how can you expect me to do this? I received word from our scouting party that the city is now safe to enter. All the clans will be going there, convince them to ally with each other. We must remember never to fight each other again. We did this once and this is where we ended up. If we keep on fighting, it'll only get worse. No, I can't take that. That's our clan emblem. It's been passed down from generations since the start of this era. It takes his son for what it means, the embodiment of our struggle best fits you. The golden child who follows what it preaches as is written on the totem itself. We need to position all four local clans in an area where we can contain the hostility. Well, if we position blockades around here and here, 
The only way for the southerners to get across into the city is through the bridge here. By doing that, we leave the westerners with no way over. Not necessarily. If we place more blockades around here, the westerners will arrive quite some time after the southerners. That's a good idea. We'll sway the southerners first, because we haven't attacked them much, and then we deal with the westerners. So the eastern and western ones will be less of a hassle for us, because they have a long trail to take in, and we're too exhausted for battle. All right, the plan is settled. I'll wait at the bridge whilst you two work on the blockades. We'll meet here back when you're done, so I can tell you whether we're successful. Is this one of your minions, Northerner? Yes, Lord South. He is. Was it you, Runts, that ordered him to stay my party? Yes, Lord. It was I. But I'm no Runt, I assure you. I'm the chief of the Northern Clan, the son of the late Second, and I come bearing a proposal. The willing of my father. <laughs> You are unarmed and outnumbered. Speak wisely. I present myself today in such a state to prove to you that I have peaceful intentions. I come seeking an alliance, not just between ours, but all the clans, in hope that we can rebuild in a prosperous manner. Sir, I have failed you. The East and West are on their way. What? I knew it was a trap. You swine. I mean no quarrel. Sir, isn't peace what our father wanted these past three years? Silence, sister! You of all people should know that peace is impossible in this day and age. I'm now second in command of the Southern Nation. My father is chief of this clan and he shares your goals. He permitted me to take these actions if necessary. These men will hold no quarrel against you. Good. We need more troops posted higher up, in case things get nasty. Are all of your men capable of throwing knives? Yes, but we have to make sure the attacks are non-lethal, otherwise they'll think it's an ambush. Good point. How long till they get here? No longer than an hour. And they'll see the blockade and they'll suspect something, and they'll stop to rest. Two of my men specialise in non-lethal combat for policing purposes. We can hide them near the entrance to the bridge, and lure the enemy squad into position, where we can easily strike from behind. I like that idea. Where are you going? Maybe you are too young. Don't worry about her. Bloody South. Why so sad, Lord North? Hmm? Have we not accomplished our goal as a nation? The world owes you a thousand lives and gratitude for ending this conflict. Hey, rejoice. Celebrate. Come and join me at the tavern later then, yeah? Come to celebrate the prosperity of harvests. And that's not all we should remember. We should remember the violence that gave birth to our traumatic past. <laughs>